Oh, 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 oh. 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 Oh, oh, Tell me about the Megalodon name on Instagram. <laughs> what, what's that about? It's about like, I'm a big fan of uh, Batman and the sharks. And I find out, you know, the Megalodon means like a big, big shark. And I just took it that name and uh, it's not something special. It's just I love it, that kind of name and that's it. I played with you in Philly for a little bit and I'm... Um, you one of the hardest work I've ever seen in the league and very humble. I really appreciate your game. Talk about your season with Philly this, this year and how you guys doing there. Uh, you are, we are missing you there, you know, like uh, yeah, right. for sure. Your, your <laughs> smile, your face, I miss you there for sure. But uh, I think we, do, we are doing fine. Uh, we have like young court, you know, like a lot of young people who, who can really play, who can really pass the ball, who can really shoot the ball. And I think we are, we are, for right now, we are very good, you know, I think we can improve in this last 20, 27 games. I think we can catch uh, that playoff, the playoff seed, you know, and uh, maybe, maybe something more, maybe poor seed if it's possible. But uh, in front of us, I think it's a great future, what's the most important thing. And, uh, you know, it's, a, it's, a, it's a really nice to be part of, of, of really like organization. Growing up in Croatia, you ever think that you're going to be here today playing an All-Star game? I always got the dream. I can say I always got a wish or dream in, in, in my life, you know, one day to be the part of something big like, like this, even if it's the Rising Star game. It's not like a big All-Star game, but like... This small thing make me proud. I think make make a proud proud my family, my like uh, my friends from my hometown, all all the people who was around me during the my growing up uh, like a basketball player. When you when you, uh, when, you <laughs> when you when you came over last year, Joel hadn't played those first two seasons. Did you um, did, did you know what to expect in terms of how good he would be and if he'd even be able to play? I, I didn't know. I, I I remember I came at the PCOM. You know we were practicing a peak home in that time and I saw he's really killing us you know all players there and I asked one of the coaches you know he will play like this in a, in, a, in a league you know when the, when the time is for when it's time to play and they will say yeah 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 and we just came on a court and he got unbelievable first season you know okay he played just 30 30 games but I think he showed to everybody how he is good how he is good like a player and end of the day was the most important thing. He is a very good person and he's showing that uh, every 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 day and uh, every night. Is it, is it surprised you at all that he's been able to come back this year and play to this extent and be able to be on the court as much as he has been without any health issues or anything? Really? Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a good question but I didn't, I didn't think about that, you know, like I know he will come on the court, he will give 100% but I didn't know how much games he will play or minutes I didn't worry about that. Has, have you gotten have you have you stopped being surprised by his ability to to do stuff that nobody else could do on the court yet? Uh yeah, I was I was surprised he's a unique player, you know, he's like seven two guys, you know, who can shoot the shoot the ball, yeah. who can really move for his size, for his weight and uh, he's showing that every night and uh, I'm very glad I can be the part of Part of I can be the member of his team. Do you, are there ever times when you're, uh, when you ever you do, you, do you, are you ever surprised at stuff he's doing in the game? Like do you stop, what kind of stuff, do you stop what you're doing and watch him ever? As uh, you're uh, yeah, I, I, I was like, what do you mean, like, like do you ever get like when he, is he does he do stuff on the court that even during the game you're kind of like wow I can't believe he just did yeah that. but sometimes when he when he's cut you know when he scored like two threes you know when he got like his mid range game and he got like. Uh, a good uh, low post move, you know. Of sure. course, of course, you know that surprised everybody, not just me. What I'm saying, like for that size and for this weight, you know how he is moving and what his ability to do on the court is amazing. Sure. Mario, Bogdan got the MVP. Uh, he has a great season. Mark and the same as a rookie. Uh, you have a great season. Yanis uh, is uh, getting to star level. Do you do you believe? Do you feel that the Europeans? Starting to, to play a major role in the NBA. It's a it's a it's a great question. I think like uh, European European players in, uh, in the last couple of years, you know, became to really to really 
to really have big impact in their teams. You know, it's not like before, like 20, 25 years, when you have like uh, I don't know. Uh, Dražan Petrović or other divas who opened the, the, the NBA for, for the players. Now it's a different story. You know, you have like a Jokic who is the main guy in their team. You have a Janis who is the main guy. You have like me, like Bojan, you know, Bogdan, Bojan, Bogdan. You know, so many guys, you know, who is doing well in their teams. And uh, uh, then in Schroeder, you have like a really, really, really a uh, lot of people, you know, who, who really showing uh, like uh, European basketball on the highest level. And who of all these players that you mentioned now, and you are right for your kids, do you believe that in the future can have the biggest impact overall in the league? I think right now John is, you know, playing uh, unbelievable good, you know, he's almost running for the first runner for the MVP. I think he will be the biggest one because his ability, like uh, like uh, his size, you know, how he's moving, or his weight, for his uh, wing spin, you know, he's like a uh, Something, something special, you know, for Europe. Something different. I'll take one more, guys. Dario, Dario, who, what did you... who impressed you the most tonight in the game? Who impressed me most? I think uh, Brown impressed me like uh, most than everybody. Unbelievable! These two dunks what he got between legs, uh, bet uh, ball between legs is like amazing thing. And I don't know. From our team, you know, Bogdan Bogdanovic uh, show up really good in this game. Uh, Buddy Hill. You know, uh, got good game too. Jamal Murray, obviously, he always got play, he always playing good these kind of games. You know, uh, last year he got a good game too. And uh, but I think Brown surprised me most. Like with these two dunks, I never see that in my life. You know, in life. Right here. Dario, what do you think of Jojo's dunk? The one where he kind of spun at the top of the key and then jammed it. I saw the bench really excited about that one. Uh, Joel, yeah, uh, everybody knows, you know, he 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 got like minutes restriction uh, for the for the for the, this first All Star game for Rising Star game, and uh, of course everybody was happy for him, you know, and uh, special me and Ben, you know, we are in the same team, we pass like a lot of bad and good things uh, together, and of course we are happy for him. Thank you, Dario.